Well, the data received by the Department of Inland Revenue reveals that nearly 1,000 companies have a total outstanding tax of over 160 billion rupees. The Deputy Commissioner of the Inland Revenue Department further went on to say that these companies are expected to settle their outstanding within a span of six months prior to their bank accounts and property which could be banned or seized as part of the tax collection mechanism of the agency. He did, however, uh, mention that a substantial portion of the outstanding tax of 163 million rupees incurred in 2022 was recovered over the course of 2023. In the recent past, it has come to light that several businesses have avoided paying the taxes they owe the government. According to an investigation carried out by the Inland Revenue Department, nearly 1,000 companies were identified with more than 160 billion rupees in tax deficit. The department has subsequently informed the debtors that their respective bank accounts and property stand to be seized if they fail to settle the deficits within a span of six months. Tax deficits are taxes which have not been settled by an individual or the non-payment of taxes as assessed by the department. Taxes are collected in a variety of ways. If the respective parties fail to settle their taxes, the penalty will include the banning of their respective bank accounts. Taxes can also be charged on a payment made to a third party. Additionally, taxes can be charged in installments subject to conditions if those entities are unable to settle their tax bill at the first instance. One or a few of these methods can be implemented to collect these taxes. Tax deficits can also be collected by filing a lawsuit as well. In 2023, a portion of the total tax deficit was collected. This included a large sum of the outstanding tax of 163 million rupees incurred in 2022. This department will conscientiously continue the tax collection process to ensure full collection.